Cytoreductive surgery or CRS is not a surgery we walk into lightly. It's one of the most complex cancer operations we perform and it requires careful planning from day one. Hi, I'm Dr. Sanket Mehta, surgical oncologist. If you or your loved one is being evaluated for CRS, here is what the planning process looks like. Step one is diagnosis. We confirm the type of cancer, usually colorectal, appendix, ovarian or mesothelioma and whether it has spread only within the abdomen or not. Step two, scans. We do a CT scan, a PET scan and or an MRI to map out the spread of the disease and decide if complete or near complete removal is possible or not. Step 3 is blood work and fitness evaluation. CRS can last for 8 to 10 hours so we assess the patient's heart, lungs, kidney function, nutrition, strength and ensure that they can tolerate a major surgery. Step 4 is diagnostic laparoscopy. In some cases, we do a minor procedure first to actually look inside the abdomen and confirm how far the disease has spread. Only if all these species align together do we go ahead and perform a cytoreductive surgery with possibly high peak. This isn't just a surgery, it's a team-based, multi-step decision-making plan with the patient at the center. Share this with someone waiting for answers. Understanding the plan helps reduce fear and improves outcomes.